my stitching lovelies. Uh, Danielle here, aka Stitcherista, back with my third floss tube video. I have to say I'm a bit irritated this morning. Um, I have off work today, tomorrow and Wednesday, which is great because I plan on getting a bunch of stitching done and I knew I could film this video and take my time. I woke up this morning, was having coffee, watching floss tube, and the internet went out. And I'm pretty computer savvy, I like to think, but I spent like an hour trying to fix it. And when I tried to call my cable company, I got that fast busy signal, like during a storm or something. And I thought, okay, so I tried to call back again and it rang and, but it kept looping me back to the main menu when I would click I needed help with internet and I thought, oh my God, I, the devil getting ready to come out, like my husband likes to say. And so I just hung up and was trying to do other stuff and then finally it just worked. Thank God, thank God. Because how can I watch FlossTube if I have no internet? Anyway, let's do this video. I have a lot of stuff to show you. I have haul, I have a whip, I have FFOs that I will show you. So we'll just get right into it. As you can see, I'm filming in my dining room this time. I thought the lighting would be a lot better with showing stuff. Um, if you hear that, it's my creaky chair. Uh, we have a formal dining room, and I say formal because we are not formal people. We never use this, so if I start filming my videos here, it'd be really great to use this space. But the chair is creaky, the furniture's old, so okay. And you can see behind me two Mirabilias. This is what I like to call my mermaid room too. I've stitched a bunch of mermaids for my husband and they're all hung in here and I have four over here, but I will show you those in a different video. <clears throat> okay, so my whip for last week was Co Country Cottage Needlework Stop and Smell the Roses. And this is what it's supposed to look like finished. <clears throat> Very, very pretty pinks and stuff. I love the roses and all of that. Now, I didn't, I don't have a before picture because I just started it last week. So here is what I got done in a week. And I did get to stitch two days of the week. So I thought this was okay for progress. I'm trying to get that close. I thought I did pretty good. And you can see my two needle minders I have are just like two flowers, a dark pink and a light pink. And I got those from Down Sunshine Lane. They have all different colors and I got like every color they had. They had teals and purples and black and white and yeah. So I did that and I also, as part of my haul, I also got a new tote bag to hold that whip and stuff. And it's this. Isn't that nice? This bag is such good quality. The bottom is leather and yeah, uh, down sunshine lane also. So really, really nice project bag. And if you remember my little thing about my box, I had bought this box at Michael's to hold, it has a hinge, to hold all the bobbins and scissors and whatever. Well, I went on a search to get like three more for my other whips. Couldn't find them. Could, I mean, I went to every AC Moore, every Michaels, and I thought, what the, yeah. So when I went to Michaels last week, I said, you know what, I'm gonna walk around and see if I can find something else. And I did. I found these, which are photo holders. These were 99 cents, people. Uh, and I'll show you, I have all my stuff for the CCN in there. They are, I mean, you can fit a bunch of, yeah, I just, I love these. And so I bought like four, three, three. Um, what a great deal for 99 cents. So I was very happy about that. Okay. And since I was showing you my country cottage needleworks, whip, I thought I would show you a couple of my FFOs that I had hanging in my office. So I'm going to stand up here for a second. She had done like a pie or cake series and I had the best intentions of stitching all six, 
We know how that goes. I stitched two. And this one is blueberry. And you see the two buttons up there? They aren't supposed to be there. Uh, there was slubs in this linen and I tried to pick them out or cut them out and I cut the fabric. Don't ever do that people. So I had holes in my fabric and I had like 90% of this stitched so I wasn't starting it over. So I got those cute little buttons and put them there. Now this is on 40 count linen. Mm -hmm. One over two. And I had this finished into a flat fold, so I, a, a hanging, flat fold, like a, a hanging frame. So I had that hanging on the wall. And I forget who finished it. Somebody named Deb? I, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't remember her name. But then I also did Strawberry. And I really like this. And believe it or not, once you start stitching on 40 count, you get used to it. And then if you go back to something like 28 count, it looks ginormous and you're like, oh my God, but yeah. So I did those and then I did this for Joy, I think Christmas, Joy's, I don't remember the name of it, but I got this framed in my LNS, the stitching post, and that's a suede red mat. And I did this on, I think it's Bone, Joblin, 28 count. I think it's Bone or Lamb's Wool, Lamb's Wool probably. But I entered this in the Woodlawn Needlework exhibit in Alexandria, Virginia two years ago, and I got an honorable mention for it. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I love that. And you know, some people will, I'm sorry, I'm moving, I have like all kinds of stuff on this table. Some people will only hang their Christmas pieces out at Christmas time. All my shit gets hung out all the time. I spend time to stitch it and money to frame it all my stuff is up all the time and I have not run out of wall space yet. So yeah, all my stuff is out all the time. Okay. Now, one little thing I noticed, and I don't know if this is just me, but when I start a new project, I'm really excited, but then it's like actually starting it is like sometimes difficult. Like I started stitching the Stop and Smell the Roses and I had done the roof and I was like, uh, I'm like, well, I'm going to push through. And so now I really like it once I have like a bit done, but it's just getting past that first little point of getting some progress before I start liking it. Okay. Bobbinating. I have become a bobbinator. I really like the floss on the bobbins, but I hate doing it. And when I went to organize the threads for the Country Cottage Needleworks project, I forgot what it was like to bobbinate hand dyed threads because there's a Weeks Dye Works and a Gas in there and even a Classic Color Works. And they're all different. Like Weeks Dye Works is the same as DMC where it's one big long strand and you can just wrap it around, wrap it around. However, Gas is like six smaller strands. So you're, I wound each strand. And then the classic color works is like four longer strands. So then I have one, it's just weird. Okay. So the next thing, my LNS is the stitching post in Catonsville, Maryland. And this year they are celebrating their 35th anniversary of being open, which is pretty awesome. And they are, they had Lizzie Kate, they contacted Lizzie Kate and she actually designed a chart exclusive to the stitching post to celebrate that anniversary. Now it's not going to be released until September, but man, that is very exciting. I love Lizzie Kate and so I cannot wait to see that pattern. I will be showing it here on my video for sure. Okay, I'm looking down at my notes, you know me, I have tons of notes. Oh, when I was out shopping, to kind of get off on a tangent, I did some like non-stitchy purchases. I got this awesome coffee mug. My coffee therapy, $3 at Michael's. How could you beat that? A new wallet, Vera Bradley. I haven't owned a wallet in like 10 years. I would just throw my cards in like the little zippered pocket. Yeah, way over that, so love the wallet. And when I'm in my office, I have a tart warmer and I'm always on the lookout of stuff that smells really, really good or that 
really smells up a room. And believe it or not, I have found the past few Yankee candles that I've bought for all the money you spend for a jar, like 20 or $25, they don't smell up a room. So I bought a few of these, this brand, Better Homes and Gardens, um, tart things at AC Moore or Michaels for like a dollar, a dollar for the whole thing, okay? I burned one on Saturday. Oh my God, it smelled so good. And today I walk in my office, it still smells like the tarts. I'm impressed. Like I'm going back to AC Moore today, I think, or the next couple days, and I'm gonna get some more because, wow. I, so highly recommend if you like smelly stuff in your room, like nice smelling candles and stuff. Okay. Someone posted on a mirror, the Mirabilia Facebook board, the mirror, 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 mirror on the wall, a hair conversion of Rapunzel. And I have that pattern and they did a blonde conversion and it looks so amazing. And her name is Jennifer Cameron. And I'm gonna insert a post, a post, a pic of it here so you can see. Isn't that awesome? I am seriously considering doing that. Although I really like the brown hair that it's charted, but wasn't Rapunzel blonde anyway? So yeah. Okay, ho! Oh. Yeah, I a lot of my stuff came in. Um, I I'm waiting on a lot of fabric. That's gonna be like the bulk of the rest of my haul, but I have a big pile here, so I, I will start to show you. Okay, if you guys remember, I ordered the ink circles, Cir the circles. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, and I had seen a conversion on the ink circles gallery of it done all in different colors and silk and i'll insert a picture of that here so you can remember okay on the gallery on the website as i said in my last video it showed or it showed all of the colors and it said they were all silken colors. So I'm like, cool, I can just go ahead and order those. So I go looking, I spend like an hour and I discover that the first silken color, Tropical C, yeah, discontinued. Naturally, it's discontinued. Well, I had changed it then to Karen Collection Water Lilies and then canceled that order because I really wanted to do it in the silken colors. So I said, well, I'll just try to find out another one for that tropical sea. So just a couple days ago, I start searching and you're, I just couldn't believe this. Come to find out all the other colors were silken colors. The tropical sea was a Gloriana, which is not discontinued. So I was able to get it. Oh my God, isn't that like the prettiest teal ever? The green? Yeah, so got that. Waiting for the rest of the silk to come in and actually it's coming from Stitching Bits and Bobs and it ships, so I should have that to show in my next video. Now, this was the background color. It's called Copper Rose. I ordered it just to see. Yeah, I don't like that. I will put that away and use that for something else, but I ordered like an orangey coral for the background, so Excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm going to use that for the background of that. But I'm trying to figure out a way to add this ink circles piece to my rotation. And then I also want to add this to my rotation, the Northern Expressions Rainbow Sampler. Because man, do I love that. I mean, look at the silks of it. I got the dinky dye silks. So what I'm considering doing for my rotation, instead of having four projects and work on them once a week, work on each one piece once a week. There's 30 days in a month, most of the time. So if I do six pieces, six whips, I can work on them for five days each. I'm gonna try it. And then, <laughs> this, is, this is so funny how it's just all over the place. 
Last week, the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery came out with two new pieces, uh, the National Parks one, which I don't really care for, so I'm not doing that one. But they came out with a trick-or-treat sampler, which I love Halloween stuff. So I ordered the kit. Not realizing that the pattern is not gonna be released until August 25th, the first part of it. So I think when that comes out, I'm gonna like put aside my rotation and just stitch on that until it's finished because I rarely ever stitch a pattern when it comes out, like for a sow or for anything like that. And I would really like to do that for that one. So the kit should be here this week. You know, I got the floss, the fabric, the needle minder. So I'll be able to show that in my next video. But yeah, the patterns will come out until August 25th, the first part, and then the next part is September 25th. But it just looks so cute that, and I love Halloween, so I'm gonna do that. So the next part of haul, I got two lavender and lace patterns. Um, this first one, I stitched it like 10 years ago and had to sell it because I was just broke. Broke, like beyond broke and just needed money. And I could kick myself now, of course, because I stitched the piece on a sugar maple fabrics fabric, which is, it doesn't even made anymore, but Angel of the Morning. And that was the first time I had ever done a one over one face. Oh my God, let me tell you, this looks like a picture. When I stitched it and I went away from it and came back and looked at it, I almost cried, seriously, because it was so beautiful. It, so I will, I will stitch this again, I will. And then I got World Peace Angel, which, holy moly, look at that face, the same thing, it's over one. These are huge, these, these pieces are huge, but wanted to get them. And then I'd also talked about my last video that I got two Mirabilias that were uh, out of print on eBay. So Sleeping Beauty, love that one, and The Dreamer. I've always loved this one, and I don't know why I've never stitched it. So totally love that, but holy moly, look at all those floss colors. A lot of floss. And boy, do I have a lot of stitching to do. <laughs> So the next thing isn't really haul, but I pulled it from my magazines, my Just Cross Stitch magazines. The Stash Queen in one of her videos, she is doing the Alessandra Adelaide, one of those big patterns in all beads, all beads. And it prompted me to want to do it for myself, but not the real big one. But in the November, December, 2013 issue of Just Cross Stitch, she had done this. And I want to do it too. I want to do it all in like white pearl beads, but I want to do it in red fabric. And I ordered from hand dyed fabrics by Stephanie, Peppermint Sparkle in Joblin. I think that'll look really good. And that's not too, too big. Not like some of the, oh my. And at the Woodlawn, needlework show this past year uh, my friend Jill and I went and someone had done the Alessandra Adelaide one that had like the two rings all in beads I voted for it for my favorite piece I couldn't stop looking at it. it it was so gorgeous it was like done all in gold beads I think oh my god okay haul is still going I have more stuff yet so the next thing I got I'm pulling off paper clips here August Peridot Fairy I love this one, love it. And of course, all the floss and beads. So I'm all ready for that one whenever I go to stitch it. Don't know what fabric yet, but I actually ordered a fabric that I think I'm going to use for it. So we'll see when it comes in. And then I also got Cinderella. Love this one. And I have ordered Crossed Wing Linen's Aurora fabric for this, which is like a dark bluey purple. And hopefully that'll be here soon so I can see if that'll fit. But also, floss and beads for it because I just, most of the time I order everything when I get it. But I think what I'm going to start doing because I've just ordered so much stuff. When I order a pattern, I'm just going to order the pattern. And I can get the beads and floss later when I'm actually ready to stitch it. And then in addition to that rose tote bag, I got two more that I'm going to use for whips. Um, this teal one, 
And the I Love Cross Stitch is glittery, if you can see that. Oh my God, yeah. And then I got this one, and the black is glittery on that. And I got that one because my next whip for next week, or starting tonight actually, is, and I don't know why I don't have it. Oh, I do have it. <laughs> it is Lizzie Kate's uh, Spooked Mystery. I have part one, I showed this in my last thing, part one, part two, um, part three is probably released this month coming out. And I'm gonna start that tonight because I actually am due to get fabric today for it. I had picked, picture this plus haunted, so I hope I like it. But all the flosses and the embellishment pack, so I have some prep to do this evening to wind all those and get all that ready. So that's it for haul. I thought that was actually quite a lot, but um, yeah, more coming people, more stuff coming, so. Oh no, I'm not done with haul. I ordered some needle minders. I love needle minders. I have like a bunch and I ordered a bunch and yeah. So Down Sunshine Lane has such great needle minders and I love her service. So I highly recommend if you ever wanna order from someone, order from her. She is fast. She's really great. Amy from Down Sunshine Lane. So I got these. Couldn't you just die? The minions are going to be for the Lizzie Kate spooked mystery because they're Halloween. And then I had to get that pumpkin pie. I love pumpkin pie. And I know that I'll be stitching that on uh, a uh, Thanksgiving piece. So, okay. And speaking of haul, and this is like so weird. Uh, the Evergreen Needle mentioned in one of her videos that there is a trend on YouTube for people to take a picture of their groceries and post it. You know, I have such a hard time with this, people, because if you know me, the grocery store is the seventh circle of hell. I hate it. I go once a week, I, oh my God, you just don't even know. So, and don't we all buy the same food? Like, basically, I, I don't know, I, bleh, yeah, I, I really don't understand that. Yeah, I won't be watching that. Uh, it'll probably give me nightmares. If I, see, <laughs> if I see other people posting, no, grocery, no, mm-mm, mm-mm, no. Oh, I also wanted to mention the Stash Unload group on Facebook. If you guys aren't a member of it, join. I just recently sold a pattern and two fabrics on there, like lickety split. It's really, really great. And you don't have eBay fees and all that nonsense. Okay, I'm actually almost to the end of what I have to talk about. I thought this was gonna be a lot longer. Okay, I have a little bit of a rant. <laughs> and Brian C. Super Stitcher mentioned this in one of his last video that I just watched. Floss tubers who stop making videos. You suck me in with your stuff. You make me like you. And then you don't post for like five months, eight months, a year. Now, I understand stuff goes on. Family stuff, personal stuff. But you make me sad when you don't post. And I miss, I miss people that haven't posted in a while like that Stitch Cray or Stitcher Moose, uh, just to name, there's a bunch. Okay, I'm gonna give some shout outs to floss tubers that I love, but before I do that, I wanna, I wanna talk about something serious that has really been upsetting to me regarding floss tube, and that is people who either leave negative comments on someone's video, or they give their video a thumbs down my friend Jill, who is such an amazing person and a hard worker and just, I love her. Um, we've been friends for like five years and she is truly like my BFF. I don't have any friends here where I live. She lives in Pennsylvania. She just did her first video on Flosstube last week. 
And we were texting back and forth a couple days ago and she said, oh my God, I got two thumbs down on my video. And I thought to myself, really? Like, so then it prompted me to go look at my own two videos. And I actually got four thumbs down on one of my videos. I find that so unnecessary. If you don't like a video, move on. Keep moving, watch something else. I think it's so unnecessary to give a thumbs down. I would never ever do that. And then leave a negative comment. Like Tipsy Stitcher mentioned in her last video that someone actually made a comment about her not wearing makeup. I, this, this just bothers me so much because you guys are my people. Floss Tube, the stitching community, truly my people. Everybody puts themselves out there to make these videos. And it's probably not something that anyone or most people don't do this as a living. We're not experts at it. Um, I love the videos where things go wrong and people are themselves and they look off on the side or they, they start laughing or they do, they're themselves. It's real life. Um, and to give a negative comment or to put a thumbs down is just so rude and disrespectful and it needs to stop. Just, just stop. Just the old adage, if you can't say something nice, don't say something. So, okay, I'm going to get off my soapbox about that, but I'm sure all of you will agree with me. So keep making your videos, people. Please don't let things like that derail you. Um, just don't, just, just don't. Cause this, this community is so, so important. I think, um, I enjoy making the videos. I look forward to them. I like showing all my stuff. I love seeing all of your stuff. I mean, I watch, I don't even watch my regular shows anymore at night. When I'm stitching, I watch solely floss tube. That's it. And I have like 40 videos in my to watch later thing on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So last thing I want to talk about is the shout outs. Tipsy Stitcher. I mentioned her just a couple minutes ago, but she was so funny. She commented on one of my videos and said how she loved my accent. I think that is so hilarious because I don't see myself as having an accent and she probably doesn't see herself as having an accent. And anybody who has an accent probably doesn't think they have one. So I thought that was really cute. Um, and then that stitch cray, man, people go and watch her. Seriously. She is hilarious. I love her bookshelf. She has this huge bookshelf behind her and for a new stitcher, like only a couple of months, I think she is amazing and she's not playing. Like she started a memorabilia right away. It took me a little while when I first started stitching before I did something like that, but she hasn't stitched stitched. She hasn't posted in like five months. So yeah. Okay. Another one, Lisa Ma three, two, one, I guess that's how you pronounce it. I just love her too. Her whips are great. She has haul all the time. And you know, I'm one of those people. I love to see haul in a video. I love it. Um, I don't know why people wouldn't want to see it, but I love it. I totally, totally love it because it gives me ideas of what to stitch or what to buy because I bought a lot of stuff because I've seen it in your videos. And then of course, Jill, a stitch in time, my bestie. Um, I will put a link to her channel in the description box because I think the other people are pretty, they've been doing it for a while. Um, but I think that's it. That wasn't that long. That's only like a half hour, but I'm pretty long enough. So I will be working on Lizzie Kate's spook mystery starting tonight. So I'll work on that this week and I will be getting in more haul. I'm sure. And I've actually considered because I don't know if I'm going to have a bunch of stuff to talk about all the time. So I'm considering only doing an update once a month but I don't know. So give me your feedback. Would you, would you rather see me do a video once a month and then show all of my whips, all of my haul and I'm, my video would probably be almost an hour probably, or would you mind not seeing a video once a week that maybe only is five or 10 minutes? Cause eventually I may get to that point where it's not half an hour, especially if I don't have any haul that week. Who are we talking about? I'm probably always going to have haul, but, <laughs> um, but yeah, there may be a time where I don't have a really long video. So, uh, yeah, let me know. So until next time, have a great stitchy week and I will see you soon. Bye.